uh, take another story. Yeah, let's take another story. Okay, this is it's trending right now, and it affects the youth population as regards the strike, the strike action um, called by ASO, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, the, sh the shutdown between the federal government. Now, it's over time we keep having strike actions between ASO and the federal government. Nothing, no long-term solution as regards this. Now, in, before the main question, do you think strike actions have the potential of generating or bringing good results in Nigeria? Looking the, at the history of strike actions in Nigeria. The only way government listens is for you to um, twist them. Mm. That's what we know. Including people that have been part of your organization, they get into government, it's Legit like something just blocked their ears. Legitimately arm twisted. Yes. Or, or just, just no, no, legitimate, them to get, to, to get their attention. Government even had admitted mm -hmm. that they, 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 they reneged on, you know, uh, the agreement with ASU. Mm -hmm. and so that's why for me, first and foremost, it is good for you to admit that you have failed. Yeah. What you now do thereafter, it's the, the master key. You have agreed and admitted that you have failed. And so now let's see that you have moved forward to say, okay, we are failed. We no longer just want to make promises. Mm -hmm. From now on, we want to ensure that this agreement is, you know, kick-started 40%. Okay. And also, we also want to ensure that we are not just pumping money into the system, mm -hmm. but we have, you know, proper structures of implementation because even the universities themselves are a problem. The way they are managed yes. is also another big problem. Mm -hmm. And so we also want to ensure that whatever goes in there is properly utilized. Like I, talk, I told you, countries, go, go to Japan, go to China, they are evolving into a knowledge-based economy. But here, as we speak now, we have, um, we've had GSM in Nigeria for how many years now? But we still don't have a university in Nigeria that offers GSM technology as a course. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and so you go to India. When GSM came, they said, look, fine, we admit, we'll, we'll do business with you. But all the equipment you are going to bring, we only allow you to bring 20%. The rest you must manufacture here. Mm -hmm. That's a government that's serious. Mm -hmm. You must manufacture here so that you create employment here. And then also our people will learn and begin also to technology Training transfer. And, yeah. and okay. that's why today, in terms of IT, Nigerian will go to China. You have telecom companies with their backbone in, in sorry, in India. In India. You know? mm -hmm. So that's what we need to be doing. You need to collaborate with ASU. So would it be safe to say that ASU is also part of the problem in the educational sector? It's um, a, it's, it's a, it's a holding system. the bulk of the I, 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 I think, uh, uh, holding no, no, the bulk of the blame. Unfortunately, unfortunately, if you put it on a on, on a sixty forty, I want to put it on a twenty eighty, and and I can say one or two things. Mm. One, twenty percent, twenty percent that has to constitute eighty percent of the problem. No, 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 I okay, with you. That's why I'm saying. I let me, let I, I can quickly make them on point. And then I will. Point hope number give, one. Hope you give me a right of reply. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> point number one is the fact that in all the climates. I mean, I have had an opportunity to, to school outside the country. Mm. And, and the truth no, remains, it's privilege, although, privilege, uh, privilege yes. yes, okay, I mean, I have had that privilege. And I know one thing, that money is given from government to our institutions like universities mm -hmm. is not to is not for school administration. It's yep. not for the for the administration. It is a subvention, a kind of a support mm -hmm. for research um, work and so many other things. One, number two, to probably better the infrastructure in that university, probably upgrades on, exi on existing structures, build more classrooms, maybe hostels for, for students to come and all of that. That's number two. Number three, let me now come back to ASU. You. you gain admission. Uh, there is a part of money, I mean, there are monies that you pay. Mm -hmm. Student Union government will take theirs. The, the school will take theirs. The department will take their own. That's true. And they make all of this money. If they are holding, um, what is it called? Their tanks, they are, they yes, are, they if they are holding government to ransom, also. that government is not bringing theirs, mm -hmm. and they are, they are not willing do? to give an account of the money they make, exactly. and many of them, uh, to last, so that you can re respond. Do you know that government has given them rights to do businesses? Schools have <laughs> vacancies. Yeah. They operate okay. radio stations. Mm -hmm. uh, they they have so many other so business concerns. They, they are printing the money. presses. I can wait for you people to finish. They are I, printing I presses. Have just one response for you. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Look, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. The University of Dundee generates ten thousand 
in Scotland, generate 10,000 megawatts of electricity. Um, if it depends on how a government sees education. If mm -hmm. education is a priority and a right for your people, you will fund it. But if it is not a right, you deprive them of education and now expect them to fund it. Using the slogan, uh, if you think education is expensive, try it's ignorance. Mm. You find out in the West, why is the West, Western Nigeria, you know, advanced educationally more than the rest of the country? Abafemi Awolowo said, the, when the, 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 the clamor for independence, he told his people that, look, that offices are going to be vacant. Mm -hmm. And for us to be able to man those offices, we need people that mm -hmm. would be at par with those that are leaving those offices. And the only way we can get those people is for us to train our people. Right. And so he declared free education yeah. for his people. And this free education was qualitative, mm -hmm. not very, just very qualitative. Yeah. And the universities were funded. And that is why the University of uh, OAU, uh, formerly University of Ife, that was built with funds from COCO, Till date, you can no longer build such a university in Nigeria that you have oil. Yeah. How much is this? Um, what in fact? Even the get, premier university that is even, a prototype of exactly. some other universities out of the country in Ibadan. Be, before, mm -hmm. before I even get to your hand, um, uh, uh, levies, I want to ask you: What led to the breakdown and collection of those? What led to the first riots? Of first demonstration, the Ali must go demonstration in our universities mm -hmm. because the chicken that was given to students then full chicken it was, was one reduced. One. So it was the half, yeah. half was and reduced to a quarter. <laughs> and then the beauty of it, Professor uh, Unoma, a uh, uh, blessed memory, Professor of History, told us when they were in Ibadan, if you're going to, it was. A beauty to behold yeah. to be an undergraduate. Yeah. Some the people that went to school abroad are those who could not gain admission into the university college badon. And then if you were going to the dining hall, you robe with your matrigan to go to the dining hall. And if you're not able to go, you call for your food. Yeah. And then also that's uh, what do you call it? Um your your you could, your, your clothes, you had, you know, um, washermen and women that would wash your clothes. And so at that time, this was history, was really mm -hmm. history, mm -hmm. not um, uh, this your professional courses. Of we, still have, yeah. we still have people and around so who benefited where, from where, that where, system. Exactly, of yes. Yes. That's why, yes. yeah. Yeah. And so you look at Mike Zuckerberg, look at uh, Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. In the university, because the education they were getting was qualitative, they could afford to sit down and say, look, assess a knowledge and say, I need to develop this knowledge. Mm -hmm. Please, permit me first, I need to go out and develop this knowledge. Mm -hmm. But here, what we have reduced, the government through non-funding of our education, because you don't see education as a as right. Premium as a right mm. that you owe the people. These are people who took education freely. Yeah. And so when they were saddled with responsibility, they now saw education. So education, the budget for education became the least. And so university have to fund themselves. School fees started increasing. Mm. Hostel accommodation were no longer enough. When the University of Nigeria and Suka was built, they had more, than, more accommodation than the students. But today the reverse is the case. And so, you have more people outside campus than, the, than inside the, the campus. The university halls, you know, were beauty to behold. For you to listen to a professor talk, but now you see professor lecturing university undergraduate under the tree, and the governor tells you is a constituent authority. So we need to put the problems where the <laughs> problems are. So with the failure of government to fund education, yeah. Asu now saw it. That's why I told you, if you fail to address a problem, it festers. Yes. So it became a garbage in garbage out. Even the people that you admit to lecture, mm. you know? So it now became a situation where you're a lecturer, you've lectured for five years, you can't afford a car. And your student whose uh, father is a politician, you know, changes car every semester. You also... 
Mm. You want to. You so know, you come up with ideas, you sell on, land out exactly, so that you to, make more money. You know, and then and a situation of, where government will enter into agreement with us and say, we will fund, and then they renege. Mm. You, you have children also who want to go to school. You won't, you, you want, you will feed them. So you create alternative. And so because government have refused to fund, even if you are creating alternative illegally, government will look the other way. Because in a state of lawlessness, it is illegal and, to be law-abiding. And yeah. then anarchy becomes the order of the day. Let's quickly go on a short break. When we come back, we'll bring you more. We'll bring you more stories. We'll be right back after now. Join us again. All right, we are back, and it's still crossfire with Dakwa Anishoma. We have Barrister Liberos Oshoma in the studio. Before we went on that break, we were talking about, you know, the debilitating state, you know, and the very appalling state of education in Nigeria. Uh, it has reduced so badly to the point that students are left, you know, to, to, to just do whatever they like. Yeah. And, you know, every time ASU goes on strike, the very pathetic thing about it is that all the students, not all of them will return back to school. The Lagos State yeah. Polytechnic see, has been people, shut down for a long you know, time. And we're wondering know. why there's, uh, there's a lot of crime and criminality in Lagos State. Yeah. You see, you... So let, let's you just take a minute and, and, and you, go for to you to story. Li yeah. liberate the mind, you need to educate the mind. Yeah. An educated mind is a liberated mind. Okay. You... I, I'm able to come here and talk today because I'm educated. Mm. And I update my knowledge you know, of what is happening every day. And I know how it is done in other climates. Yeah. And I ask myself, why can't we do it? Yeah. Why can't we replicate it here? Why is it that every, do you know that if you live in a county in America, you cannot send your word to a school, except it's private anyway, mm -hmm. a government That's school in another outside county? The county yeah. Yeah. Because what it means is that you don't believe yeah in, in that, that county. Mm -hmm. Also, you are depriving another taxpayer in that county of a space. Mm -hmm. You know, but here, you will elect people into office who do not believe in the system, mm -hmm. who have no stake. How do you have stake? Your children are here. Mm -hmm. And so if your children are schooling here, you will ensure that ASU does not go on strike. Mm -hmm. What does it take for them not to go on strike? Mm -hmm. I, I want my children to come out better. And so I would invest in the Yeah, children are not even attending but the schools anyway. You see, Tambua goes to America, uh, London for his son's graduation. Some VCs um, too. Uh, Saraki to London for his son's graduation. Um, uh, Buhari, uh, children graduating abroad. Uh, governor of uh, uh, Jigawa, children. Everybody, even for, including but Vice Chancellor. Child actually graduated from, from a university in Nigeria. Um, that's, that's one out of so many. You know, and that's just and, and, and so, um, um, uh, I remember Professor Walesho in Cardo's day saying, look, when the, 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 was, um, uh, the, the daughter was to do her mandatory uh, compulsory national youth service course, he said, look, I won't influence it because the essence, there is an aim for this scheme. Mm -hmm. So if I influence it, that would have been defeated on the child. Defeated. So go and explore and discover what other people are going through in that part of the country. But now, for reasons, obvious reasons, we will influence. Because you don't want a situation to send your, your, your child to a place where, you know, maybe for security education, or education. Education in that area is, you know, it's, um, it, it's not available mm -hmm. to the average man. And so their thinking is still very backward. And then your child, who is educated, now becomes a target. We've seen how youth coppers were maimed and killed. Mm -hmm. These are people who their parents had to pay through their nose to educate, you know? But children of the rich don't serve in these okay. places. Okay, You know, so that's why I said, if you look at the problem, 60% government, it started from them. Yeah. And then ASU, because the government allowed it to first start, contributed 40% to it. By saying, okay, since it's an e-commerce affair, it seems um, you don't care. Let's begin to find a way of eking out a living because there are no jobs anyway. So let me be managing I, I, I this think, one. I think universities should not have taken the idea of, of going commercial. 
by, by setting not for up them. businesses, oh, it, by see. setting up businesses to raise money to it's fund see. the see. administration now, of those schools. Like now that. you have given government the the leeway to well, think well, you are making money after all. No, no, it was a it was a fallout of lack of funds that allows governments to universities to and then how many universities? When you talk about universities, forget about uh, Unilag because of the population and the location. Go to some other universities, even if you set up businesses, how much is the fees, first and foremost? Yeah. You can't compare it to the millions that these private universities are collecting. Are collecting and, yeah. and so, how much is the fee that you can use to, to, to run universities? As I speak to you, even foreign governments still give grants to our state government and our universities for research. And but when your own government has refused to release grants for research, for research. everything you can think of in terms of these technology televisions that we buy today, these are research from universities mm -hmm. in terms of medicine. Absolutely. That's why you hear, oh, the university, a professor in, or a doctor in um, uh, so-and-so university has just discovered because they are paid to do these things. Mm -hmm. a, okay. a professor okay. told us, he was a lecturer in Bayaro University. He said, he's now a lecturer in um, one of the universities in Malaysia, and he says, look, fortunately he got there, he discovered how you can use, um, um, what's this plant now, to purify water. And this was a, a research he started in BUK, but because there were no funds. But as soon as he got there, he said he has more than enough funds that he needs for research because these people take education as a priority. And so the budget for education, it's nothing compared to, oh, yeah, to, 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 anyway, to, it's an evolving story, and then we will see how that pans out eventually. Edo House of Horror. Edo House, House of, of Horror. Edo, Edo House, House of, of Commotion. Commotion. I mean, I mean, it's just really very um, disappointing. It very is, sad. It, I mean, it's a very sad thing that this is what we're witnessing. You know, my concern is just that what is happening in Edo. You know, in the, in the I mean, between uh, former governor of Shiomale, and um, the new governor, Obaseki, yeah. we have had reasons to change the leadership in Ado, uh, I mean, Edo House of Assembly four times. Um, uh, it's quite unfortunate. That also tells you the brand of politics and the kind of uh, governance we run. And mm -hmm. um, that's why you find out that um, at every turn, anytime there's election, the governor would want to, uh, maybe to use the word, capture the State House of Assembly, have all his men there so that it becomes, the State House of Assembly becomes an appendage of the State Executive so things will move slowly. Mm. It is, you allow democracy to run, then you lobby mm -hmm. for whatever you need to do. As we speak now, you remember, you know the, the, uh, the Republican enjoys majority in the Senate, uh, uh, the both chambers of um, um, the Assembly in America, mm. but yet, Trump is still not finding it funny with some of his party members. Exactly. The Obamacare Obama. was defeated by two senators, Republican senators, McCain and uh, what's this other uh, lady's name. And, and so that's democracy at work. We still ourselves, we're involving, we're involving. We are nascent, nascent. Now we have moved from nascent <laughs> to involving. <laughs> yes. you, you know, and, and so year in, year out, on, if your election system continues like this, you're still going to continually have the kind of people that throws chairs mm -hmm. that are in the assembly that are dishonorable but want people to call them honorable. Mm -hmm. You know, that are undistinguished but want to be addressed as distinguished. You know, so that's why you would, and then because we have not been able to address this problem headlong. That's why five people, like uh, you saw in the River State House of Assembly during oh, Amechi, yeah. uh, BP, Evans, BP and, and, and Co, mm -hmm. uh, would sit down <laughs> and say, we have impeached um, the, speaker. The, the speaker because they were, it was a prelude to impeaching the governor. Mm. And that's why, you know, few people can also sit down and um, there are procedures. And because once this thing happens, you say, oh, the court cannot question it. I, I really need you to they, address. They, they, they no, get in there. What? what I, will, I will get there. I will get there. Because of time. Because of time. We have just, uh, you know, like because also you say, you say, I can't. Uh, because the court can't question it. So people can just sit down and throw chairs. Uh, if you do this thing, the court says, look, because the procedures used, mm -hmm. like that of um, Peter Obi, because of the procedure used, even though you had majority, but the issues of throwing chairs mm -hmm. was, you know, dishonorably yeah. that this process was not properly done, 
Next time when they want to impeach, you will sit back and do it properly, you know, in a very honorable way. Yes, they might have issues with the speaker, who they said, you know, had been so docile, mm -hmm. wasn't active, Adjournment. you know, and then you want then to this, go for your this last son's one. or daughter's exactly. graduation, you, you are just sitting up the house so in defiance the of the, the, house the house calendar. You know, because also they brought this upon themselves in an attempt to balance the political what, equation. What do you think it can be a consequence of this to, to, to stop th this from happening? It I just happened told in you. State. I just told it you. It happened in River State. I just it's happened in Edo State now. You, it has happened in Abia State. That's happened at you, the National Assembly. You know, I'm you see, past. I just told you. Is Remember any, is, when yeah. people were jumping fences because there was an attempt to impeach and You know, I just told you. What, because once it happens, it's legislative immunity. Once mm -hmm. it happens, the court has no power to question it. Yeah. Okay. And, and so, uh, one person says, look, I'm now the speaker. The other one says, no, every action that you have taken, you know. But if you allow it to be questioned by, you know, an arbiter, to say, look, yes, we agree that the majority can initiate a move to speak the speaker, but when you reduce it to fiscal cough, Mm -hmm. uh, fist then cough, the process, fist is, cough, is and then, be yes, the process is dishonorable, mm -hmm. and so. So, would it be right to say to remove um, legislative immunity also? No, no, no. For that process, that particular Just process, process okay. yeah. you, you like, you have the doctrine of, you know, unveiling. unveiling. There's need for you to unveil that process and for the court to look into it as an arbiter to okay. so say, look, if there is any breakdown of law and order in the chambers. Mm -hmm. And so that process, you know, becomes a nullity. Okay. All right. And so All once right. you do that, you know, anybody that wants to impeach, you don't need to, you have moved the motion. All they needed to do was Just to take a vote. The, and not the, to the, the regular proceedings and not to move in the to house. The, 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 the and tell him, get up. Tell him, get up. And then you <laughs> kick. And then you All right. Thank you so much, uh, Barista <laughs> Liberos. Thank you I so mean, much. We, uh, there's a, just a lot to talk about Nigeria. But thanks to everyone who have been a part of the show. It's a beautiful week. And we wish you a lovely weekend. Join us again next week. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.